Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. So there's a very famous English phrase, as you sow, so shall you reap. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because about a week back, I released a video based on the latest Oxygen OS port, which was exciting and amazing stuff of work by one of the developers. And then I was, you know, forced to remove the link. I received a lot of backlash, but I did promise you guys that we will have a better port, a OnePlus 7 Pro port, which will be coming and I will be the first one to share it with you guys. So guess what guys, the day has come. Although this ROM is in beta, it does have a couple of features missing and a few things not working, but I have been using it since this morning. You can definitely use it as a daily driver if there are a couple of things that you can adjust. So this is of course an install and preview. This is not a full review. I will wait for this wonderful developer to you know, uh, make a final version of this port so that we can do a complete review based on the 5.0 ROM review system. But in today's video, we will first have a look what the experience with this particular ROM is. And by the end of the video, I will show you guys how to go ahead and install it. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to this video and in this video we are going to check out, yes, the amazing OnePlus 7 port by a developer named Shankar. Now before I begin this video, of course, he's developed it, he's ported it. So if it wouldn't have been for him, we would have never seen the, you know, this particular port coming to this device. And yes, it works amazing. So I have mentioned a link in the description for this particular Telegram group who has worked really, really hard. You can join it as well and be a part of the discussion. At the same time, I have mentioned a link to donate to this particular developer or if you wish and if you like our channel, you can donate to us as well. But before we do all that, well, let's at least have a look at the video first, right? So first things first, let's quickly have a look. Let's go to settings over here and let's go to about phone. What you see over here, it says device name OnePlus 7 Pro. Of course, that is not true because we know this is our beloved Pocophone F1 and this is a Snapdragon 845 powered device. Now, before I show you the bugs and the things that are working, something that I would want you guys to check is this. Can you see this? You might have seen ton of custom ROMs on this particular channel, but look at this. Just have a look at the smoothness guys. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's utter smooth. Mostly, you know, I would say 90% it is as good as a daily driver. It is that good of a ROM port because almost everything is working. Towards the end of the video, I will show you guys the bugs that we have and then you can decide that this is a make it or break it deal for you. So first things first, let's go to the dialer and let's dial say 198. So voice calls are working, Wi-Fi is working, Fingerprint scanner is working, double tap to wake is working, the camera, even the OnePlus camera work, but portrait mode doesn't work that great. So I would suggest you use Gcam, which works perfectly fine. Face unlock doesn't work for this particular ROM. Antutu benchmark doesn't score that high, but trust me, PUBG plays perfectly fine. And the reason this ROM is special is because it has all the OnePlus 7 Pro features. For example, if you go to utilities over here, you will go to gaming mode and then you do have something called as Fnatic mode. That works perfectly fine. If you pull the notification tiles over here, you do have screen recording. So there you go, we have the screen recorder. So if we go ahead and tap on this, always agree, settings, there you go. So that works perfectly fine. Yes, it does record internal audio as well. And uh, what else do we have? Camera is done. Fingerprint scanner. The only thing with the fingerprint scanner here is that you have to wake the device up in order to use the fingerprint. So if you enable double tap to wake, now you see over here, if you wanna fool some people, you can do that as well. So let me actually show you guys over here a trick. So what you can do is you can keep your finger ready over here and then you can double tap over here like this 
and let the animation go. There you go. It just looks as if you're using the in-display fingerprint scanner because the animation works as well. Now, in addition to that, what you also see over here is that this live wallpaper just works perfectly fine like it works on uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro. So if you lock the phone and unlock it, this actually sort of gives you that animation. And if you do go to settings and uh, then if you go to display, you do have things like 90 hertz refresh rate and things like those now of course all those things don't work oneplus gestures work fine like the three finger screenshot there you go expanded screenshot yes that works as well more or less all the features for the oneplus 7 pro which are available like the fanatic gaming mode of course you need to leave the hardware eye out like the screen and the camera and things like those but more or less uh, for me the heating is there because uh, when i installed it today I was charging the phone using a fast charger along with this all these hundred apps were being installed and I had just finished a benchmark so I don't really know if that was the reason that it was heating but after that I have not experienced any heating at all now it would of course be unfair for me to you know go ahead and uh, review this ROM so early so we will give it a few t you know days or a weeks couple of maybe by the time the developer can port the remaining fixes and stuff like that now let me tell you the things that are broken the notch over here is broken as you can see the things are cutting off at the edges because of course the oneplus 7 pro has an all screen display it doesn't have a notch uh, vibration works calling works video calling on geo network if you're from india video calling from on geo network doesn't work direct sound which is the sound equalizer by oneplus that doesn't work apart from that in order to use the fingerprint scanner you have to go ahead and uh, you know double tap the screen once the screen is awake or awake that is when you can go ahead and use the fingerprint scanner that is not a big issue for me apart from that uh, ambient display is not working there is lift up display so that is something that doesn't work face unlock doesn't work so these are the major things which i think which were not working but to be very honest from the you know time I've been using it, the type of user experience this ROM provides, I would highly recommend if you're someone who's very comfortable flashing ROMs and for whom you know spending a couple of hours trying a new ROM is not an issue, I will highly highly recommend you to give this one a try. We can go ahead and go to TWRP and I can show you the install process. So let's first go ahead and enable advanced reboot that's already enabled. So let's press and hold the power button now before we do any of that let me tell you that you will need an unlocked bootloader you will need twrp i'm using twrp 3.2.3 or something like that backup 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 if you lose any of your data nobody is going to be responsible make sure you have at least 50 percent battery and then go ahead and do this place that particular file which is linked in the description use the winrar extractor or software on pc extract it to a folder you will get a folder called oneplus 7 pro copy it to your phone's internal memory in a folder called twrp let me show you guys before i actually reboot so if we go to file manager over here and say we go to internal storage you will have a folder like this called twrp in this you need to copy this folder called oneplus 7 pro and then you need to boot into TWRP. So let's wait for the phone to boot into TWRP. Now along with this, you will need a firmware zip file, which has to be the latest one, like 9.4.25 or above. So that is also linked in the description. So first things first, what you need to do is, of course, you need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data, select all of these and perform the wipe. That is swipe to wipe. After that, you need to go to install and you need to go ahead and flash this particular file which is linked in the description so you'll select this and swipe to confirm flash wait for that file to be flashed after that all you need to do is you need to go to restore you need to select oneplus 7 pro and you need to swipe to restore so that restore will take anywhere between five to seven minutes. Now, once that is done, there is absolutely nothing that you need to do. You just need to hit reboot and system. And after maybe two or three minutes, the phone will boot into Oxygen OS 9.5.23. It will work and feel like a OnePlus 7 Pro, although the difference, hardware differences is something about which we cannot do much. 
But what I would suggest is if you are a flashaholic like me, if you like trying out new stuff, definitely give this a try. If you can, if you have the capability, I would highly recommend you to go ahead and donate the developer or donate this channel as well. We would highly appreciate that because we are doing a lot of hard work to bring this content to you guys. So I really hope you guys liked this video and there are a lot of videos lined up as you would have seen on the community section but if you liked this one please 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 give this a thumbs up it really really helps our channel a lot and share it and subscribe as well so until the next one this is Kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye